Hey, it's Clay Trader at ClayTrader.com. This will be a live trade video. Market opens up here in less than one minute. So let's see if I can capture some of my trades as they unfold. Currently looking at VRX. All right, I got some shares. Um, so I'm trying to think, how do I want to do this? I'll actually do a stop loss. It's kind of hard because this is a pretty big spread. So out there at uh, 72.91 uh, for those I shorted, I got 200 of my 500 up there at 73.35. So I'll go with uh, another 300 up there at 74.35 and we'll just uh, try the whole system all over again. But like I said, the reason I hesitated was it's kind of hard with uh, with these bigger spreads with the stop losses. But luckily, I didn't get uh, I got out pretty close to where I wanted my stop loss at, anyways. Uh, so that was good. But let's see if it can break up there through 74. Actually, I'm going to change that to 74.50. So I'll let you know if it looks like it's going to get up there and potentially fill me. I'm looking at some other stocks right now. I'll try to capture the entry point on PCRX, but um, you know I am looking at other stocks, so I know the first uh, entry point I, I missed out. I got the exit point, which was good, but entry point, no promises, because like I said, I am looking at other stocks. So my fishing order is out there, but you know, looking at KMT and some other ones right now. So we'll see what happens. I have an order out there for 300 shares to short at... 37.49, so we'll see if it can get up there or not, uh, but that's a current order. All right, I got in at 37.75 for my first entry point. So I actually want to scale out some. So what I'm gonna do is move my stop up there. So same type of thing, it's uh, hard because the spread's so big. Okay, let me move it up to right above. But now as it rolls over, I will just continue to move my stop loss down with it. And that's not even the chart, so I can move that over here. So if the ask goes to 37.40, I, I will put my new stop loss in, I will move it down but right now I'm leaving it at 51. So again, I need the offer to say 3740 and then I'll move it down. I like the candle that was just formed. Now we gotta see if we can get some sort of rollover. This is a good spot to be in. I'm no longer wondering if I'm gonna make money. It's just a question of how much money am I going to make? And that's a great spot to be in as a trader, a very stressless spot to be in. So. Now I'm just waiting to see if this thing wants to roll over or not. I'd like some people to hit that bid. Now bids seem to be getting a little bit stronger, but there's quite a few over there on the offer. Okay. So still got to get down to 40 on the offer though. The bid's looking good, but need the uh, need the offer to work its way down some more. So big old spread right now on it. That's why I'm saying you got to be careful with these. And you may be thinking, wait, why aren't you trying to you know buy some on the bid right now? Well, what happens if this thing absolutely collapses? Then I'm going to be kicking myself for hopping out too soon. So that's why I, you know you got to just be patient. Let the offers come down. And I don't know. This I'm not feeling too good about it at this point. That was uh, the bid collapse, but the offers never came down. So like I said, I'm not stressed. I mean, this is fine. This is great. This is the best spot to be in as a trader. Again, not wondering if I'm going to make any money. It's at, at this point, it's a question of, well, how much money am I going to make? Because let's see how far down this thing drops. And that's a very good spot to be in. There we go. Getting close to the offer. There we go. So move that down to 42. Now I'm looking for the offer to be at 70 or 37.30, and I'll move it down some more if it wants to keep on rolling over. 
So it's getting somewhat close. We'd like to just see this flush back down through 37. It's definitely a, a slower mover. There we go. Now that's down to 32. Same thing. If the offer goes to 37.20, then I'll move down to my stop loss some more. I realize it said 20, but it's kind of fluctuating back and forth. So let's say 37.19, just to give myself a little wiggle room there. 37.19's gotta be on the ask, and then I will move it down. So there's 20. All right, I'm gonna do it now since it's not fluctuating anymore. So, oops, so my next one will be at 12, if 37.10 can show up. So it'd be great if it could break through that round number of 37. Let's see what happens. Maybe even 37 up there. That's definitely 37.12. So the next one needs to be if 37 even is on the offer, then I'll move it down. But it needs to be 37 even. All right, good. We're only at six minutes on the video. So it's not like this is taking too much time. So there we go, 37.03. Now, if 90 is on, hopefully you're getting the pattern here that I'm trying to use as I just work it down. So this is why way back when I said, well, why don't you just try to get off on the bid right now, you know? Well, this is why, because now I'd really be kicking myself because this thing's rolling over. So that's why you always want to keep, and I am out for $181, and that was only on what? Uh, 300 shares. So only 300 shares made $181 on that trade. Um, so I'm now up 276 on the day. And I think I'm gonna, well, I'll see if I can try to find one more trade maybe. Uh, first off, I apologize if the volume's kind of jumping all in where I'm trying to figure out this mic, it seems to auto adjust on me. But anyways, uh, while I'm thinking of it, the big question that I do get, uh, especially from these trade videos is, hey, how am I finding these trades? So Clay, how did you find you know the, the two stocks that you traded today? Um, and you know, what are you using for that? So what I've done is I've put together uh, this free resource guide here. Uh, so if you click right there, uh, that button, I will email you the guide, uh, but it's an instant access thing. You just sign up and you'll gain access to it. So if that sounds like something uh, that could, you know, add some value to you as a trader, then for sure, you know, click right there. It's a good risk versus reward situation. It's totally free. So your risk is very minimal, uh, but if it really helps you out, then, you know, that's some good upside reward. So uh, just kind of looking at my schedule, I have some other things that I need to get done. Uh, I'm gonna try to do some podcasts today, get some of those recorded. Uh, so I'm just gonna wrap things up. Uh, but yeah, you, you saw a couple good trades there and um, a good example of uh, you know how you can get yourself in a, a good stressless situation just by uh, you know managing the trade appropriately. So uh, as always, if you want me to keep making these, um, please click that like button, leave comments. Uh, just let me know um, you know that you're in, watching these and finding value in them because if you're not. Uh, then, then to be honest, I'm not going to waste my time doing them and I'll just trade without having to worry about video production at the same time. So, uh, but if you do like them, you know, the easiest way to show that is click that like button. Um, and like I said, things like that really go a long way and hopefully you decide to sign up for the guy too. So thanks for watching. I think this will probably be the only video this week. So everybody have a great week.